please come in and get comfortable. It's good to see you. Could I get you a drink or coffee, perhaps? No? Okay. Well, if at any point during our consultation, you start feeling thirsty or get a little peckish. let me know. I'd also like to commend you for making time in your life to find out about you. Too often in our current way of living, we have so much emphasis on the world around us. What this person is doing, what that person said, what that person's asked me to do for them. Instead of asking, what can I do for me? How can I, seemingly for the first time in your life, prioritize me? So, you get credit for making time and recognizing that maybe you don't know yourself as well as you would like, or you recognize there are some aspects of your personality that you would like to try and support. Good. It's a very comfy chair. Italian leather. Very nice. Okay. Since it's our first session, we'll be running through uh, personality understanding. And how it works, it's part of what's called the Big Five personality tests and I'll ask you a series of questions and at least for the preliminary assessment I'd like you to grade the accuracy of the statement on a scale of one to five one being that the statement I said is entirely inaccurate and doesn't apply to you five it's a carbon copy of you as you are. It's a copy and paste. Control C, Control V of you. All right. Now, it's imperative, absolutely imperative, that you score yourself based on who you are. Who you are. Not who you would like to be, not who you could see yourself as, but as you are, from your perspective. Now, sometimes it can be difficult to discern our opinion of yourself from the actual fact of the matter. That's for me to make my own conclusion on in time. Okay. Good. Good. No. Yeah. Let's start with I accept people as they are. So if you you don't, if you absolutely do not agree with that statement, you put one. If you completely accept and understand it, put five. And if it's somewhere between the two, three, all right? I accept people the way they are. You 
take them as they come. You're not trying to expect them to change. Okay. Good. Now I will say, we're really going to take our time. We're in no rush. So please, take it easy. This is a moment to escape the world. To escape what's out there. Right now, it's just, we're just here. There's nothing else in the world. Just here and relaxation. Now, I believe in the importance of art. Accurate or an inaccurate statement for you? Do you believe in the importance of art? Now I would encourage you to try and give me a snap answer. So I've paraphrased. Do you like art? Yes or no? And then if it's a yes, to what extent? what extent. Alright. Okay. No points, just one whole number. Good. Okay. My mood changes easily. Is that an inaccurate? For you. Good. Good. It's an interesting question because some people have a very stable mood. And the example I'd like to, to lead with in this particular question, if you can imagine a line down a page and the left to right of that line are two more lines the left line is happiness contentedness the middle line we call it frustration line the line to the right is further into the realms of unhappiness, frustration. Now some people start nowhere near that middle line. Some people start miles away from that line of, of happiness, the trip line. And the smallest inconveniences do nothing to their mood. They're still way over in happy land. Other people wake up an inch an inch from that middle line and the slightest inconvenience being cut off in traffic or somebody not holding a door for them it pushes them over that line into um, frustrated and moments before they could have been completely fine because they were on the happy side of the divide and the smallest thing sent them maybe even deep into that side of frustration and what we want to do is make sure in time that you're way over on left field deep in that happy world so these inconveniences and what we call life don't upset you don't lead you to a frustrated state okay now, I take care of other people before taking care of myself. If it's accurate, you're five. If that doesn't apply to you at all, you're quite self-indulgent. You're looking at a one or a two. And if you're 
right down the middle. Three is perfectly acceptable in this example and any other example. Good. I vivid imagination. Excellent. I feel comfortable around people. Now, it is important to note that it's not specifying how many people. Many are a lot more comfortable with one or two than they are with ten. The question is deliberately ambiguous. I feel comfortable around people. Okay, good. I often feel blue. I often feel blue. Mm -hmm. I, you, am the life of the party. Okay. I treat everyone with kindness and sympathy. Chores done right away. I get chores done right away. Okay. Doing well. word for everyone I meet. Good. Good. I am skilled in handling social situations. Now, be mindful what the question is asking here. I am skilled in handling social situations. Now, that doesn't mean you have to enjoy them or dislike them, just whether or not you're effective, whether you think you handle the situation well. Okay, good. section. Still inaccurate, neutral, or accurate. I often feel anxious about what could go wrong. Just for the fun of it. Okay. Now, I will say that try to answer these honestly and really think about whether this is something you do or don't. Okay. I often worry that I'm not Difficult to get to work. Difficult 
to get to work. Okay? Good. I stay in the background. I stay in the background. are about perspective and the angle of attack of the question. I do not like art. I do not like art. Philosophical discussions. I avoid philosophical discussions. Okay, good. to rate each word, single word, with how closely or how well it describes you. Okay, first word. Original. So if original is an accurate representation of you, you would pick five. Inaccurate, you pick one, and if it somewhat resembles you, three. Systematic, systematic, systematic. Okay, shy.
agreeable. Are you an agreeable individual? Agreeable. Okay. Nervous. Creative. Outgoing. Are you an outgoing individual? Charitable. Are you charitable? more. Moody. Would you categorize yourself as a moody individual? Okay. Imaginative. Imaginative. Organized. Is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? Or is the glass twice as tall as it needs to be? Good. Excellent. Okay. Accurate, neutral, or accurate statements about you. Again, I have a lot to say. Okay. I enjoy going to art museums. I always make good use of my time. Sometimes in life, we all wish we had taken on a little bit less. I don't like to draw attention to myself. I don't like to draw attention to myself. I feel I am better than other people. I feel I am better than other people. I make friends easily. section, section five. This is a 
media preference study. So these questions are actually surplus and are optional, but they help us correlate personality types to media types. How often do you read books? Okay. Could be every day, once a week, once a month, a year. I never read. How often do you watch movies? Daily, weekly, monthly, annually, never. Okay. What is your favorite movie that you watched this year? Now that doesn't need to be a movie that was released this year. Just what your favorite was that you've seen this year. Okay, good. What is your favorite book that you've read this year, if any? general, what genres do you prefer? Select all that apply. Action. Comedy. Drama. Fantasy. Horror. Mystery. Romance. Science fiction. Non-fiction.
in general? What genres do you prefer? Select all that apply. Action. Comedy. Drama. Just kidding.
Sí, sí. 